So we have been in a little bit of a blip, uh, a wobble, call it what you will, but we've lost a couple of matches in a row. Also, a quick shout out to Spaceman. Uh, he gave some feedback that, uh, hey, I'm taking it to heart. And I had asked you guys about speeding through the seasons a little bit more, doing less episodes. And he brought up the good point, which, which I agree with. You kind of lose the ability to get to know the players a little bit. So I agree with that. So we're going to come back a little sooner than I had originally planned because that's what seems to make sense for you guys. And at the end of the day, that's what's important. We'll be right back and get to it. Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 21. This is episode 20, club three of our journeyman save. And as I mentioned, thank you very much to Spaceman for uh, taking time out to give some thoughts on the question I had posed a couple of episodes back. And uh, yeah, sorry about the scratching. I got a little itch in my beard today and I noticed that was showing up on camera and, you know, I don't do the makeup thing. So pff, we're moving on. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, after Brentford, we had a 1-1 draw with Knotts County. Noel Mark scored again for us. Uh, Leeds United, a 2-1 win. Uh, Carlos Vitor getting a start due to injury. And Eric Graves with a 93rd minute game winner. Bristol City beat us 3-2. Uh, Mincer Jasufi getting a start again due to injury. Noel Mark with yet another goal. and uh, But we were down 3-1 when Mark's goal went into the net. And we could not get the equalizer. And Burnley, similar thing, a 4-3 loss. Uh, Mark, Pascarillo, and Rowe got a 91st minute. But at that point, we were down 4-2 to two and no shot to come back. Today, we're going to be uh, having highlights from uh, the league match with Tranmere. And then we'll be playing Kings Lynn in the FA Cup third round. Just taking a look at the competitions. Uh, they want us to reach the fifth round of the FA Cup. So this is pretty much a must win, especially since we were taken out by Bristol City uh, one round early in the Carabao Cup. Sitting mid-table, ninth position, 27 points from 18 matches, a plus 12 goal differential. I think what I'm going to take from that is the, the three-back format that we've been using last season and this is still working. We're supposed to be in relegation. We're upper, you know, we're at the bottom end of the top half of the table. We're still doing well. Uh, we're well above uh, the infamous Kev ratio and uh, plus 12 goal differential. There's only a handful of teams that are doing better than us. So probably need to stick with that. So let me get Tranmere played. We'll take a look at the highlights in just a second, and then we will move on to the match of the day. All right, well, we had to go with a slightly rotated squad this time due to injuries and match congestion. Uh, Chasson was named our captain, getting the start on the left wing, and he was ejected with a straight red card in the 20th minute, and we were scoreless until the 47th minute when Tranmere got the opening goal there. And then in the 48th minute, they got it into the attack again, back post, right down to Teixeira in the box, and he puts it in. We were in a 2-0 hole. That's how it ended. They had 18 shots to R12, 12 on target to R4, 10 men and some reserves in there. We had no shot. Chasson is suspended for one match. Uh, we will uh, find two weeks' wages, and we will not appeal. That's how that goes. And we'll show you guys how he got thrown out. So again, he started on that left wing. And yeah, just a two-footed lunge through the player. Can't do that. That is unacceptable, especially from our captain. Or our captain for the day. All right, well, that, that hurt. We're still in ninth position, down to a plus 10 on the goal differential. We do have uh, Kings Lynn in a couple of days. Let me get up to that 
and we will play that one here on video. A little bit of transfer news. Uh, of course, the match is taking place on the 30th of December here. So transfer window opens in just a couple of days. Uh, Sandy Ramsey, of course, he got mad early in the season when we tried to move him along. And uh, then he came back and said, hey, I want to leave. So you can see here he's moving on to Sheffield United. $11 million up front, $22 million over the life of the uh of the deal. Uh, the futures are always, for me, they're always easy stuff. Uh, installments every six or 12 months uh, after so many games and potentially a future sale clause, but nothing, no never, never stuff. I try to stay away from that because I personally feel it's explo exploitative. Uh, so I stay away from it, but hey, you know, do what you do. Um, and I enjoy seeing how other people do do their transfers, but I, I tend to stay just with kind of the, the base stuff. But Ramsey will be leaving us. Uh, we do have uh, uh, Kukelis is, gone, is going back out on loan to Seattle, and a couple of other guys. Uh, Maney is also going out. Dorse is going back out on loan. And we do have Christian Freemu will be joining us on, uh, from Bovista uh, on the 2nd for 65000 He's 18 years old. Uh, four and a half star potential, two star current, center back, six foot one. I think he's already good enough to probably be in the mix, uh, but you know, some upward, a lot of room for development to become a really good player. Uh, Leon won't join till the end of the season, and we've just made an end of contract to Gabriel Rossi, a pretty good striker from Italy, and a job offer out to a performance analyst. That is not a big deal. Let's get into today's match. It's against King Lin. We have also made a move. So Wheel, we've done a one-year extension that was in his contract. Romain is out of contract at the end of this season, unless Chelsea re-ups him. We'll probably try to re-sign him just as good as he has been for us. Uh, five goals, six assists, and 13 starts, and playing a 7-4-4 this season. Mensa wants playing time or he wants to leave. We're having a hard time getting both him and Pascarillo playing time. And fair enough, I would like to maybe have a right back and I could drop him back, but right now, not an option. And then you see the guys we have on the bench. Mateus cannot break into the side as good as he is. And I would love to have that 19 passing, 16 composure on the field. <laughs> on the field, on the pitch, that too. And then Phil Hutchinson, we can't find room for him. He's on loan for Man United. So I'm kind of hoping they pull him back. He's only had two starts, four reserve appearances. But they agreed that he could be a squad player when he came. So I don't know. You know what? I'm going to put Mateus on for Esser on the bench. So we're going with Solis in goal, McNeil, Fowler, and Licka on the back line. I have converted them back to ball-playing defenders. Uh, Wheel, Jasufi, Romain, Mensa on the outsides. And I have made Wheel an inverted winger because he is right-footed, so he cuts in. Uh, Ramos, uh, the advanced playmaker, Graves, and Mark up top. I need a little bit more out of Ramos here. Now, the problem is I promised him that I would play him in his normal role, but I think he's better playing farther back. But We'll have to figure that out. So that's who we're going with. Let's get to it. Romain coming back from an injury. He is a lacking a little in fitness. McNeil seems motivated, but he's the only one. Let's give the early encouragement shout because they do need it. We need to really try to keep morale elevated here because it'll be easy for it to fall. We're in the blue. I'm sorry, we're in the white. Good clearance. Mark over the top to Graves, lays it off to Wheel. He finds Menza some good ball movement, laid off to Romain, into Wheel and his third goal of the season. They appear to be some appeals for offsides, but the keeper just punted it back out. So I think that goal is going to stand. But we get the early 1 0 advantage over Kingsland. This is a game that we should win very easily. Cleared out, controlled by our back line. 
poor pass by McNeil. We're going to have to get on him about that. Oh, through ball. Graves picks it up. Taken down. And Mark into the corner of the net. Rui Ramos with the assist. That's number 13 for the young Frenchman. And 2-0 to Leicester inside of 15 minutes. I really thought about playing a couple of our more reserve guys, but... I really want to win this particular leg, right? <laughs> All right, Lick is on a yellow. So Lease controls it. The outlet to wheel. Jasufi over the top. And Mark runs onto it, but Trainer beats him to it. That was that was a really aggressive pass. Look at the touches there in the midfield. That looks good. We've got so many good midfielders. Oh, K is dead on the sideline. Oh, he's writhing in agony. And Ramos is there to for slot one back home. Unlucky they were down a player. But, you know, we weren't we weren't mandated to stop, but boy, he looks like he's in agony. Oh, just writhing. <laughs> the keeper with the save, but it just went right back to Ramos. He slots it into the opposite corner of the goal. And it's 3-0 to Lester. Good save there by Trainer. He lays out for it. But they are really collapsed, aren't they? Oh, look at that. Noel Mark, 14th of the season, second of the game, but Wheel with a big assist. And they have just pounced on Kings Lynn there. We're not even attacking here, guys. We're positive, so there's not a lot I can do to call off the dogs. We're going to praise them here. Mark with the brace, looking for a hat trick. That one's headed clear. Menz is on to it. Mark's giving him a target, but he's off sides. Looks like he dropped back on it. Oh, and it hit the post, but it was off sides. They did flag it. Uh, he hit the post. That was horrible. <laughs> it's a good thing he was offsides because he would have probably kicked himself for that. Kings Lynn has yet to take a shot. Oh, that was a good job. And an offsides. Okay. So that brings us to halftime. 4-0. 19 shots. 7 on target. Keep going the way it's going. We'll give them uh, some praise again. That's headed across the goal just high. And we are just, you know, it looks like we've taken the foot off the accelerator here just a little bit. Romaine finds Licka. Licka tries to go back across the goal. Let's go ahead and look for a substitution here. Um, Mensa for Pascarello. Let's bring Luke Rowe in for Graves. Graves is our number one striker. Let's rest him and Mateus. Let's bring him on for just Sufi. Uh, let's bring him on for Romaine. Romaine's coming off that injury. I'd rather rest him. We'll make the triple subs here. I usually regret doing that, but I think we've got enough room to play, and evidently nothing happened on that corner. <laughs> Nothing at all. All right, there's Wheel. Up to Rowe. And Rowe slots it in. His second goal of the season. I really need to find a way to get him on the pitch. I just don't have anywhere to put him. He's right up. He could be, you know, Mark, Mark is a guy I want there. Graves I have to have in. I'd like Roe can play that central mid, but I'm so heavy there. There's already guys like Mateus that I can't play that are naturals at that position. It's just crazy. I, I, I'm going to end up having to move some players, I think. Mark, oh, he kid it right at the keeper. He's going to really hate himself for that one. Because that was his hat trick. You don't get a shot at many of those. You better make them count. Russell Edwards makes the run the length of the pitch, knocked away by Mateus, who was tracking him very well. 
Five nothing advantage to Leicester into the 70th minute. 20 minutes left to play. And doing a good, solid job here. So Lee goes out after it. Let's drop back to balance just to slow it down a little bit. I think there was a foul there, and there is going to be a sending off. Price picks up a second yellow for the foul on Rowe, and he is off. That is, that's too bad. I mean, you know, we certainly don't need to pile on here. They go to a 4-4-1. Boy, they're changing that tactic all over the place, aren't they? That's, that's crazy just watching how quickly they're moving that around. Pascarillo into the box. Mateus, what can he do? Nothing. He passes it over to McNeil. McNeil's farther ahead. Rowe is there. Can't get the shot away. Cleared over to Pascarello. That's into Mark, and Mark misses it. Missed the goal. And he hit it so hard it went all the way. He did a wraparound on the net. Mateus, the only one that did not get a 7.0 grade or better. Wheel, player of the match. Solid 5-0 win. A nice victory, well done. And that's, you know, even though it's a cup match that we should have won, it's going to be good to have that, right? Just to, just to keep that morale up. I think we do have the fourth round coming up. We pick up 200,000 there. We'll tell Wheel. Good job with the chances created. I'm looking for the draw. I think it's here in the next couple of days. So let's just move forward a little bit, see if that pops up here. All right, we're back for the draw for the fourth round of the FA Cup. All right, let's see. I don't think there's any seeding here. There are 40 teams left to play. But we'll just draw till it's us. All right. It would be nice to get a winnable match here. And we're going to get Crystal Palace, a fellow Premier League side. Not what we would have hoped for. It's a winnable match. They're 13th. It is winnable. So we will play that, I am sure. Taking a look at the schedule, that is in late January. So why don't we come back for... We'll come back for Crystal Palace highlights and then would really like to play Arsenal here. So why don't we do this? We'll come back for highlights for Crystal Palace and West Brom. We'll have two games of highlights and then Arsenal after that. And uh, we'll move forward that way. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget, I do have daily football manager content Monday through Saturdays here on the channel. So make sure you hit that notification bell and check back daily. Appreciate you guys so much. Take care. Bye.